Angela Katwa, otherwise known as Jurassic Girl. And joining me here today is... Sarita Katwa, as known as Mini Jurassic Girl. And we're, today we're going to talk to you about coastal erosion. Coastal erosion is when the sea comes to the sand and takes away some of the rocks. That's a brilliant explanation. Erosion is the process by which wind or water wears away the rocks. And coastal erosion is a really important process that maintains the beauty of our Jurassic coast and that's located in Dorset where we live. Now one of the really famous coastal landform features on the Jurassic coast is a feature known as Durdle Door. What does Durdle Door remind you of Sarita? It reminds me of an arch and you could just swim or use a boat through it and it reminds me of a tunnel. Oh, that's a good, that's a really good comparison. Yes, it's got a great big hole, isn't it, in the archway of the rocks. We're going to show you, using a fantastic lolly stick and a bit of Play-Doh, how Durdle Door formed. Now, Durdle Door is made up of a very resistant rock called Portland Limestone, and it's located on the Jurassic Coast. So you have lots of waves coming in all the time and bashing that limestone, trying to break it apart. Now, we're going to pretend that your lolly stick are the waves. So do you want to have a go at bashing our doodle doll and trying to erode it? So we're going to start off by making a little notch here in our model. Go and give that a go. So here's our first stage of how doodle doll was formed. The waves have carved out a little notch in the Play-Doh. Hopefully you can just see it. There's a little notch there and it's created a little hole in a point of weakness in the rock. Now, the waves don't stop, do they? No. They keep going. So what are you going to do with your lolly stick? I'm going to go all the way. Go on then, keep going. Keep digging through. Pretend that you've got these waves that are eroding the coast. There you go. That's it. Go on, keep scraping because that's what your waves are doing. Obviously, the waves take a very long time, don't they? To yeah. wear away a hole in the rock, at a point of weakness in the rock. But this is, this is what starts to happen. Look, you can actually see <laughs> through the hole itself. Look, do you want to have a go? There you go. So, Durdle Door would have originally been a solid piece of rock. The waves found a point of weakness and then they started to exploit that, make it bigger. And as time goes on, so go on, keep going. You can keep using your, your waves to dig out the hole. Now what's happening? What can you see that's happened? It's even, an even bigger hole. It is. The hole is starting to get bigger. And what's really interesting is your lolly stick, no, nope, sorry, I meant your waves <laughs> that are eroding our rock have actually gone all the way through. So now we have something that's actually starting to look like an arch. Look at that. So let's keep digging away and seeing what happens. So Sarita's done a great job of eroding Durdle Door. You're brilliant. Look at your waves. Look at what they've done. What can you see? Can you describe it? It's made an arch. It has made an arch. You've got a lovely, great big hole there that your, your waves have carved out. Now, what do you think is going to happen if the waves keep eroding Durdle Door? The middle of the arch will fall down. The other side of the arch is called a stack. Well done, Sarita. That's exactly what's going to happen. Shall we try and see what happens when we do that? Okay. So, with lots more erosion, this is what's happened to Durdle Door. What's happened, Sarita? Can you explain to us? The middle part of the arch has broken down. And where have the rocks ended up? In the sea. That's right. And actually, you had a very good word that you used for this bit of rock that was left standing on its own. What was that called? It's called a stack. That's right. And so it's really interesting, isn't it, that in the future, we don't know how long it's going to take, the top of Durdle Door might fall down due to lots and lots of erosion. And it will fall right down to the bottom of the sea. That's right. And we're going to end up perhaps with a brand new coastal feature called a stack. And then what will happen to that stack over time as the waves continue to erode? It will break down again. It will, and that is a very special feature. I'll demonstrate here. So I'm going to take a great big piece of rock <coughs> there and pretend it's been eroded. You're left with a stump. 
That's funny word. Stump. Yes, that's right. So you go from a great big block of rock to a little cave, to an archway, to a stack, and then eventually to a stump. And that is potentially the future of Durdle Door all down to coastal erosion. Wow.